Welcome to Excel 2010 statistics video number 65. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 210 Chapter 7, or the PDF file for Chapter 7, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're in Chapter 7. We just got done with Chapter 6, and we're really going to shift gears here. Now, this video is just a quick reminder. I want to help us shift our point of view. Now, here's the topics we're going to cover in Chapter 7. But in this video, I just want to remind us, what do we do in Chapter 6? We looked at x or p values and compared them to the normal curve. So we said, hey, the probability of getting uh, a score between uh, 12 and 16 was some amount. But we were talking about x values, some values, and we were compared it against the normal curve for the population data. All right? So x values and probability. In chapter 7, we're going to switch our gears. We don't, we're not, we don't want to talk about x values. We want to be able to go out and take samples. So here we'll talk about x bar. Remember, x bar is the notation we use for a sample mean. So in chapter 7, we're going to look at x bar and p bar and compare them to the normal curve. You can see this is chapter 6. It's the normal curve that represents all the population data. And we were looking at x's here. We're going to learn about the sampling distribution of x bar. And we'll learn all about the characteristics of it. But it's still a normal curve. We're going to go out and take a sample and then talk about probability. This means, from what we learn in this chapter, we'll, this is chapter 7, we'll carry it to 8, 9, 10. We'll be able to go out and get a sample right, from the population and talk about how reasonable it is that we got that sample based on our normal curve. Chapter 6, we're talking about x. Chapter 7, we're talking about x bar. Let's go look at a picture. This is our workbook, chapter 6 to 7 uh, sheet tab. Here is the same data we were looking at last time, uh, a test on the score. And the mu was 12, and the standard deviation of the population was 2. And here, we had our little normal distribution. And we could say things like, hey, the probability of getting 10 or less, and then we did our calculation. All right? x. In this chapter, we're not doing x. We're going to have x bar. So here's our little uh, distribution. And we'll learn all about the characteristics of this. It's still a normal distribution, but we'll have to make some adjustments for calculating the mean and standard deviation for what's called the sampling distribution of x bar. Let's click on this next sheet, pop sample. Now, here we have a population data. Now, this is just a little data set to show you visually. Population data, and we want to extract just some of the records and then make some calculation. Now, I have this randomized, so if you hit the F9 key, you can see right now here's population, and the color coding means those are the records we extracted up here. If I hit F9 again, you can see we get a different sample. So in this chapter, we're going to be talking about uh, sample mean, which means we have some uh, number here we want to calculate the mean. We're going to use the average function, as we have done so often. And if we were to compare that to the population, there's all the values, right? A lot of times we're not going to have the uh, all of the, the data, so sample is going to have to suffice. And what does this mean? That means our sample is going to be our random variable. Now, the difference between these two, take the population, um, sorry, equals the uh, deviation, which means our actual x value, or in this case, our x bar value, which is our random variable. Subtract from it the population mean. This sampling error, we will call, we'll say how, how much above or below the population mean we are. If we hit F9, you can see sometimes it'll be below, sometimes it'll be above, right? as we take different samples. So this chapter, we are going to have our x bar. That's going to be our random variable. And we'll see how to then see whether our x bar, our sample statistic, is reasonable or not using what is called the sampling distribution of x bar. Now in our next video, we'll see how to do a simple random sample like this. 
we'll see a, a great technique in Excel. And then um, after that, we'll jump into uh, the sampling distribution of XBAR. All right, see you next video.